defensive line, you know, staying in the trenches, Florida still has uh, some names <laughs> to pull into this class, not really getting started yet with the eight commits that the Gators have. Plenty, plenty of targets right here, of, of course, on the defensive line. And we'll start at the top where I don't necessarily feel great about the very, very top here. Uh, Colin Simmons, of course, David Stone, your top two targets here. Let's start with Simmons on 24-7. Fourth overall, he's the number one overall edge player. On three, has him the third overall player, so one higher than 24-7. He's the first edge player there as well from the state of Texas. Has made it to campus multiple times, so you know, Florida doing their job there. Miami, Oregon, Texas. Visits coming up in June. Looks like he's going to come for a visit for a game in the fall. Not one of these June visits for the Gators, for Colin Simmons. So we'll see how much Florida, how much ground Florida maybe has to make up from these summer visits. Hopefully there's time to chip away. Hopefully he doesn't commit uh, to one of these schools. It looks like LSU leads right now for the Texas native. But it's likely going to take his decision into December. So if you can get past these summer visits, get him on campus in the fall, get him from not committing to LSU some point in between now and December, then maybe... Maybe there's a crack in the door here for one Colin Simmons, but I wouldn't necessarily look. You got to put him on the list just because of how many times he's visited. He's trying to set up another visit in the fall. Florida's had some pretty good or a pretty good run in the state of Texas, so I think you you put him on the list just knowing that it's a possibility. May not be great, but you got to with just the visits, amount of visits, and the visits coming up. David Stone, of course, on 24-7, he's sixth overall, second-ranked defensive lineman. He's 11th overall on on three, third-ranked defensive lineman. Looks to be visiting June 2nd weekend. Oklahoma seems to be the trendy pick here for David Stone. Napier, Armstrong, Spencer, all involved here for the IMG defensive lineman. Florida has done better, put themselves in the mix here for Stone. And this one where officially, you know, the official visit really, really needs to pay off. Maybe chip, chip away at the Oklahoma lead uh, and also do enough to overcome an Oklahoma visit later uh, in, in June. So Midwest kid playing at IMG, so maybe hard uh, to pull that one. But looking at the top two, Simmons, Stone, just because of visits that have happened, visits that will happen, you throw them in the mix, but then you start looking at maybe some more of the realistic candidates here along the defensive line. Let's start with LJ McCray. More of a defensive tackle prospect, possibly 24-7 sports, has him the 136th overall, 16th-ranked defensive lineman. On three, he's 93rd overall, 12th-ranked defensive lineman, lineman. Taking part in the visits coming up this weekend, June Second through the fourth for the Daytona defensive lineman, six foot, six and a half, 260 pounds. This will be his fifth reported trip to Gainesville. It's a short drive, of course, from Daytona to Gainesville. If you can get him on campus as many times as you can, you do so. He's very athletic. He's played tight end as well, but his future is along the defensive line. He's mostly worked edge, but may slide inside if he can pack on some weight. Has official visits scheduled to Miami, Auburn, Georgia in June, and FSU for the Virginia Tech game on October 7th. So FSU is, now they're, they're playing a little bit. Now, I just mentioned it with Colin Simmons. Like a lot of these visits are going to happen in June, but some are going to happen in the fall as well. But um, Napier's plan is to get them mostly the official visits during the summertime. Uh, when they are on campus for a game, you do get that game atmosphere, you get that crowd atmosphere, but it's so hard to give the the time needed to recruits when you have to worry about a game. So Napier's plan is to mostly in like most of the programs here, most of the major programs are doing the same thing. They've either started their official visits already or coming up in June, like Florida, a lot of these official visits taking place in the summertime and not during the season. FSU, from what I've heard, they're going to save a lot for the season. Uh, and that's going to happen with LJ McCray here. So maybe, hopefully, if Florida can get, can get his commitment sometime this summer, before he even goes on that FSU visit in the fall. And he may still may take it even as a commit, but you know, most of the time if you get him committed and I know we know the commits happen, but for the most part, you get the, you get them in the fold. It's a lot harder to, for somebody to flip them. than them just being uncommitted prospects throughout the whole process. So 
because at Simmons, he'll be coming for a visit for a game for Florida in the fall, but somebody like LJ McCray here, he's going to visit Miami, Auburn, Georgia, Florida in June, and then FSU for the Virginia Tech game on October 7th. So that's a name we've heard a whole good bit about as a big-time target, big-time likely target, hopefully, there for the Gators. Let's keep it going. Let's go back to the state of Texas. Dalen Evans, big name here, of course. 24-7 sports has him the 162nd overall player, 20th ranked defensive lineman on three, much higher there, 114th overall, 16th ranked defensive lineman. Could be the most likely to be flipped target here for the Gators. Certainly would not be an easy flip for this Texas native, Texas A&M Aggie commit. He's going to visit this coming up weekend with fellow Texas native DJ Lagway. Good friends with him. Florida knocked his visit out of the park in the spring. You hope to continue that. Florida put themselves in great position and in great contention for a flip here for Dalen Evans. Proximity, of course, will be hard to overcome here. But his relationship with DJ Lagway can hopefully overcome that. So big, big name on campus this coming up weekend. Another name we've been hearing a whole good bit about lately coming up, Nasir Johnson. 213th overall in 24-7 sports, 28th ranked defensive lineman, 244th overall on three. He is also the 28th defensive lineman there. Six foot four Georgian native is visiting June 16th uh, and setting up to be a big time Florida, Florida State battle for this year, Johnson. Sean Spencer leading the way for Johnson, who put Florida in his top five after an April visit. FSU may be trending as of late, so one to keep an eye on. Plays both sides of the line of scrimmage in high school. One more name we've heard a whole good bit about lately, DeAndre Robinson. 305th overall in 24-7, 385th overall in on three. The Orlando native grew up a Gator fan. Will be on campus this coming up weekend for his official. Defensive tackle size here, six foot three and a half, 315 pounds for DeAndre Robinson. But the Gators are pitching him on being able to move him around up front a bit because of how well he moves. He'll also visit Ohio State the week after the Gator visit. Georgia, Texas also look to be getting visits. So Sean Spencer, defensive coordinator Austin Armstrong, both visited Robinson at his school this spring. And many of the staff keep in constant contact here, even Billy Napier. And that's going to make the Gators a player here in the end. Decision probably coming in the fall for DeAndre Robinson, he says. Also mentions Tennessee and LSU. So DeAndre Robinson, big-time defensive tackle prospect here for the Gators. Your defensive line prospect, they say, like I said, they can move him around. Georgia, Texas, Ohio State, Tennessee, LSU, Florida. For the Orlando native, hopefully you keep one home right here. Speaking of keeping one home, well, I mean, this one's about as close to home as you can get. Kendall Jackson, of course, a name we have brought up plenty of times here on Gators Breakdown over the last few months. On 24-7 sports, he is the 568th ranked defensive lineman, 508th on, on three. I'm much higher on him after seeing him play like twice in person. A versatile defensive lineman target from right there in Gainesville, of course. He'll visit this coming up weekend, 6'4", 250. 65 tackles, 22 for loss, 12 and a half sacks, three pass breakups, two interception. One of those was a pick six, two forced fumbles. Uh, his visit scheduled for Kentucky and Miami after that Florida visit. Um, but Florida seeing him more in that jack role. So not your traditional defensive lineman, but as I said, Kendall Jackson, I mean, I'd say I moved all over the place uh, there uh, for Gainesville Buholtz uh, last year. Just really jumps off the, the page when you, when you watch uh, Gainesville whether it be their highlights or game. I mean, he is instantly noticeable. We'll see uh, if he rises in the rankings a bit, but, you know, I like him. I know Florida likes him. Uh, you hope to maybe get that one in the fold sometime soon after maybe the visit this coming up weekend. But um, I've heard, you know, he wants to take his visits, wants to stretch it out a bit, maybe enjoy the process a bit. Nothing wrong with that. But Kendall Jackson right there in Gainesville, one to look out for. So, you're going back, kind of reviewing a bit. Simmons, Stone at the top. Not sure of Florida's chances there, but start looking really at McCray, Evans, Nasir Johnson, DeAndre Robinson, Kendall Jackson. I mean, I think looking at this list, that's going to be Florida's uh, defensive line class. Most of those names 
um, that you, when you start looking at it, I think will fill up Florida's defensive line class for the class of 2024. 